Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. Now, when I started my Tune In Tuesday video blog over two years ago now, I never imagined that I would start one of my videos sat next to my washing machine. But that is because this is the third video now in our special microfiber series for the month of January in collaboration with Planet Care. Now, I'm really excited for this video because this video is all about solutions. For the first video, we briefly covered what was microfiber pollution. Then for last week, we had a very exciting video where we spoke to the CEO and chief scientist from Planet Care, and we really went in exploring the issue. If you needed any more convincing of just how severe this issue is as marine pollution, this week, some very stark research was published exploring microfiber pollution in the polar regions. Out of 97 water samples, 96 contained microplastics. Now, 92% of these microplastics were microfibers, and 73% of these microfibers were polyester, the same width and color as our clothing that we put into our washing machines. So what are the solutions? Well, this week we are going to be exploring microfiber filters and I've got one from Planet Care to show you. Now, the beauty of this whole series is that I, as I've said many times, am no expert when it comes to microfiber pollution. I'm also no expert when it comes to washing machines, plumbing and that kind of thing. So what's gonna be really great is this is literally the dummy's guide to installing the microfiber filter because I have no idea what I'm doing. I do have my dad on standby, but the filter manual that they've sent along with the kit and they have their own fantastic video that I've been watching on their website explaining start to finish the installation of the filter. I think I've got it down. Now what I'm gonna try and do is I've already unboxed the filter and had a look at what has been sent and it's all very nicely packaged and I'm just absolutely loving the organization of it all. But now I've got it all unboxed, I'm going to try and show you from start to finish, real time, just how it's done. So I've got my other camera set up over there and we're gonna go through this together. So let's get started. Okay, so just to go through what you will receive in your Planet Care filter parcel, you get the housing for the microfiber filter, the housing top, some spare filters to swap over once you've used your one filter for 20 washes and you swap them over. And as we remember from last week, it's a totally closed loop system. So once you've used one filter, you swap over to another. And then once you've used six filters, you send them back to Planet Care and they will recycle them, reuse them, put them back into the system. Then you've got a tube, obviously, as I said, this is the dummies guide, so very technical terms. You get all the screws that you will need, a really cool little counter so that you can stick it on your washing machine and go through every time you use it, the filter, so you know that you've used it 20 times, which is when you want to swap it over, and the fixing bracket. So now all I need to do, the first step, is secure this to the housing top of the filter. Right, so now I've done the screws, the next job is to actually put it on to either your machine itself or a wall near to the machine. Now the problem that we have here in the UK is that we always try and put our washing machines into the tightest corners possible, tucked neatly into our kitchen. But this isn't a problem in my kitchen because we already have the hole for the hose cut here and it's all plumbed into there. <laughs> So what we're going to do is go in here and my filter is going to be installed there so that I can take the hose from the washing machine, put it into the filter and then put the hose that Planet Care have sent me onto this end and that's going to go into the drain. See, I sound like I know what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do now is detach these sticky bits and stick it on, but I'm also gonna hold the housing in my hand as well to make sure I stick it with enough room for the housing to go on. It's very technical stuff, this. 
Okay, first slight hiccup, but we have a solution, and that is the whole theme of this video, having solutions to big problems. What I've noticed in here is that the hose from the washing machine has been cut there, and it's just secured with a clamp. So before I put the filter in, just so I've got enough room, I'm actually going to unscrew the clamp of the hose and fix it onto the top of the housing first, then secure it, just so I'm not trying to unscrew screws with my head in this cupboard. Something I probably should have said at the start is to make sure that the washing machine is definitely not running while you do this, because you can imagine if I undo this with the washing machine on, it would make a big mess. Okay, on to the next step. We have now secured the top of the housing into the cupboard here. And what's great about the top of this housing is yes, there is the sticky bits to stick onto your machine, but if you are going into a cupboard or a wall, there are pre-formed holes for screws. So we've just screwed it in there. Hopefully you could see that it was my dad's hands putting it in there. I did have to call in for some help because I was struggling quite a lot on that one. But it's in and now for the final steps. And these are quite simple. I think I'm more than capable of doing these myself. So all that we need to do now is take our filter and literally just place it in there. It does not take force at all. It's, it's in, it's secure. And then we have our housing. So we're just, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so again, we have found a solution to another problem in that, uh, that we didn't leave enough room to do it in stages like that. But now I've got the housing and the filter in, I can go like this, it's in, no force at all, at all and then I can put that in and screw. Look at that. Easy. Okay, final step, the hose. All we need to do now is to put this end on the out and put this end on the drain. Yay, so there it is. It's in, it's installed and it's done. And that was so easy. And I'm so proud of my handiwork, which was 95% all me. Now, the last thing that we need to do is stick this little guy on the machine. So, shuffle backwards, close our filter in there and then if I just put that there, then every time we click start on the machine, we can do a little beep on our counter. And then as I said, when it gets to 20 times using your filter, you need to swap it over and send it back to Planet Care so that they can recycle the microfibers and reuse the filter in their microfiber system. So it was so much fun, it's now installed, and I can't wait to see how many microfibers this is going to stop from going into the wastewater treatment and ultimately into the aquatic system. So the filter installation is now complete and I had so much fun. That was probably up there in the top 10 most fun things that I have done as part of my Tune In Tuesday video series because it was just absolutely hilarious at my pure incompetence of plumbing know-how because to tell you the truth that is the first time I've ever looked in that cupboard and surely if this video can show you anything it's that if I can do it then you are more than capable of doing it too and having fun along the way. So if you are interested in getting yourself a microfiber filter from Planet Care, then hold that thought because for next week's Tune In Tuesday, the final of our microfiber series for the month of January, we are launching a giveaway to get you one of your very own microfiber filters from Planet Care. More details will be announced in next week's video, so make sure you watch that so you know exactly how to enter. All that's left to say is a huge thank you to you for watching this week's Tune In Tuesday and of course to Planet Care for supporting this entire series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for next week's video.